One of the prettiest subspecies of the wild turkey is the Merriam. And this week we're heading to Montana, southeast Montana, where the Merriam is in its purest form. Turkey Hunter is brought to you by Browning, the best there is. On this hunt, Seth is heading out with good friend Jonathan Spruill, and they're both trying to finish their single season slams at Trophies Plus Outfitters. It is time. Well, Seth and Jonathan went to roost some birds the evening before and actually found some. The only problem is it's on the crest of this mountain, pretty much. Ponderosa pines up top. These birds end up on top of these mountains mid-morning after they fly down. They hardly ever come down. So Seth and Jonathan decide to go around and come up the other side to get on top before daybreak. Now, this climb was hard on JJ. But they finally make it, and they get set up. What some of you don't realize is that JJ was going through chemo treatments the entire spring. So he made it his personal goal to try to complete the single season slam while enduring all of this. Sure enough, this bird sounds off right where they heard him the night before. Well, this bird hits the ground and he gets quiet. The morning wears on, Seth's pretty calling every now and then. Sure enough, the guys are about ready to pack up and leave, and this bird hits 100 yards in front of them. Well, out of nowhere, this bird pops up like a ghost right over the rim, and he sees the decoys, and he slow rolls right to them. And let me tell you, there's not a more beautiful sight than seeing a Merriam closing in on your decoys.
Well, this bird closes into range and JJ lets him get just a little too close, but it's a good thing that Maxis is a semi-automatic. Congratulations, dude. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way you're supposed yeah. to have one right there. That'll work. You know what? I'm telling you, we've totally given up on this spot. Yeah. Like it, we were done. We were done. We were all packing our gear up yeah. and getting ready to get out. And we're all standing there looking at each other. Well, here we are. What a morning. You know, every morning in Turkey Woods is a little different. Isn't oh, it? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think this bird gobbled maybe two, three times mm -hmm. on the limb. It and is, we didn't hear him again. We did not hear him again. It was all but over. We had two different hens come in here just clucking like crazy. Got right in our face. I know, and, and, and you know, we hadn't heard, seen anything for 45 minutes, and we all decided that we were <laughs> gonna get up. And we're, and we're literally standing, yeah. standing here trying to figure out what's the next plan. This guy gobbles 100 yards out. We all sit down. <laughs> Just basically hit, I hit, hit the, the dirt, dirt right then. I, I, I grabbed the box call and another one hammers right down yeah. here below us. And it's just like, man, it's on. When they hit the switch around here, yeah. they hit the switch. They just come out of come out of the come out of nowhere. But I saw him I saw him straight in there pretty for you. Oh yeah. He he came straight into the decoys and man he put on a show. He you know, he was he yeah. blew up, you know, he yeah. boy is pretty. Boy. But I'm telling you. Single season slam. We started together. Yes, sir. Down in, in South Florida this this mm -hmm. year. Got our Osceola. It's been a it's been a heck of a. It's been a awesome really hunt. a first turkey season for me. Yeah. So, I blessed. I don't think's the word. Mm -hmm. Well, but I'm telling you, you, you know, you you've been fighting fight for sure. I mean. I mean in between all the turkey hunts, you've been at MD Anderson and <laughs> just back and forth. I know all that you've been going through with this cancer has just been just been rough on you, but you, get, you got more willpower than anybody I know. I'm telling you. So. Well, this this keeps me going. That's for sure. Yes, you sir. know, there's there's nothing better than nothing nothing that gives you more more of a will to fight than you know being surrounded by <laughs> friends and family and doing the things you love with those people. You know. I hear you. It just, Absolutely. That's what keeps me going. I understand that. Well, I'm proud to be here with Thank you, buddy. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. Glad. Wouldn't have it any other way. That's right. Got our got our buddy Darren behind the camera. He did yep, a got, fine job got the this crew. morning. What a lovely bird. I'm telling you, these these Miriams, I think. Oh, they're gorgeous they're, birds. They're my favorite that, of all the subspecies. Just I beautiful. love that bright white. Man, that's... Mm. We're up here with Trophies Plus Outfitters. And... Uh, Look, hearing bird goblin there. Yeah. So sounding off again. What, what about we, we go and see if we can finish my song? Yeah, we need to go get yours. Let's, right. let's see if we can get you. <laughs> Turkey Hunter is also brought to you by Indian Creek Shooting Systems, Midwest Turkey Call Supply, Replica Decoy Company, Apex Ammunition, Strut No More Turkey Totes. Knight's Hunting Products and Browning Trail Cameras. Well, this property they were hunting is absolutely gorgeous. There's rim rock, rolling hills, streams cutting through fields. It's just gorgeous. And there's also some history to this place, which is really neat. Well, believe it or not, this property had a cave on it, and a really neat cave that had some cool Indian artifacts in it. You know, we're here in Northeast Wyoming on a private ranch. I'm not gonna say where, just so that they don't have a, a ton of traffic, but pretty neat historical, archeological site here on this ranch. Um, you have all these Indian markings. There's no telling how old it is, but I mean, look, you got buffalo tracks and like, this is like a horse, like from this angle, like here's the nose and the mouth it comes back. I can't tell what it is, but there's like ears with cross hatching all the way up here. This almost looks like a goat of some kind. There's the face, these sweeping back horns. 
Check this one out right here. Got this turtle. But it goes way up in there. I do know that they've had archaeologists here and they, they did extract a, an Indian full skeleton from the very back of this cave that is now at a museum somewhere. But um, to be able to see something like this, it's, it's pretty unique. Well, it says turn on the gun, and the guys are running and gunning. They're trying to cover some ground to get a bird fired up. Sure enough, they come to the end of this gravel road. They got a field to the left, a hill to the right. Seth Charles on the box call, and the bird cuts him off. He hits it again, he gobbles again, hits it again. He ain't got no choice but to sit down. So they get the decoy out and set up immediately. Well, this bird is committed. He's gobbling every breath. Well, he gets to about the 150 yard mark and the boys hear something behind them. Well, it's a good thing this is a working farm and these turkeys are used to them tractors. Because as soon as that tractor gets gone, Seth hits the box call, and that bird hits him again and never breaks stride. Well, from out of nowhere, this bird pops up and he's on the decoys before they know it. Well, Seth rolls him, and his single season slam is complete. That's it. Yes. Whoa. That's it, man. Oh, love it. Oh, gosh. Grand slam, single season. Got her done. That's the one we've been looking for right there. Yeah, boy. It's a hard-earned bird right there. <laughs> it's been a tough two days. Oh, man. We yeah. definitely earned that one. Yeah. Feathers everywhere. Wow. You know, I didn't. I had no idea if this was going to work, but it did. Perfect. Yeah. It worked just like a charm. Looks like a good two-year-old. Nice beard on him. Damn, he's been strutting a little bit. Huh? Oh, he's tore it up, hasn't he? You think he's made all those marks on the road? I would bet he did. I mean, you just, everywhere you go, there's strut marks yeah. all up and down, and he's he's wore down to nubs nearly. I wouldn't have bet that this would have worked, but it sure enough did. Oh, it worked great. Couldn't ask for a better... Bird read the script. I oh. mean, that's that's all you can say. Yeah. I mean, he, he come down off the ridge just, just like he knew what he, you know, yeah. that he was supposed to. Well, folks, this is a private ranch road. You know, in fact, um, we've been up and down it and there's been strut marks all in it, so we knew there were birds in here. Yeah. In fact, yesterday afternoon, 
we worked some. It didn't quite work out, but we knew they're here, so we decided to come back. Yeah, it's a perfect place yeah. for them. I mean, they, there's nothing out here that that they they want to strut in, and this is a good flat surface. And, sure. Um, I mean, what more could they want? Well, you know, we east around the corner, hit the box call, and he gobbled, and, hit, and he wasn't two, three hundred yards up the ridge, and there was nowhere else to go. We just had to set no, up right here. No, it, it, we didn't have much for a place yeah. to set up, so we just made do with, with what we had here, yeah. and, and it worked out fine. No, it worked out perfect. So, you know, he, he strutted all the way down. I could hear him, I can hear him spitting and drumming all the way down there. He hit the road, came straight to the decoys. We had a, really, we had a perfect setup. All those small little pines yeah. brushed yeah. us in. You're on the other side of the road calling him. Yeah, he just, didn't, he didn't even know you guys were anywhere uh -uh. in the country, so. It He's just out perfect. these decoys, and he was thinking there was another hen over the lip there, and that's all he was worried about. Yeah. Well, this finishes my single season slam. Jim, I can't thank you enough. You bet, bud. It's been a great hunt. Folks, if you're looking for a Miriam hunt to finish off your slam, just like I did, give Mike and Esther Watkins a call at Trophies Plus Outfitters. They know what they're doing. Great place. Beautiful, beautiful property. Guides that are really good at what they do um i just i just can't thank you enough this is a milestone for me something i've always wanted to do pulled it off and definitely chose the right outfitter to go with we appreciate it and thanks and well, thanks again and, and congratulations again yeah, i appreciate that oh, awesome deal well, what an incredible way to finish two single season slams we want to thank their guy jim at trophies plus outfitters and we want y'all to know that Jonathan's in remission and he's doing great and we're looking forward to sharing more turkey hunts with him down the road.